What's good, everyone? I uh, got a project here that I'm getting ready to get started on, and it's going to be a pretty big project. So this is going to be kind of a blog, and it's going to be several, probably several series, because what I'm trying to do with this is I'm pretty fond of the Flesh Terrace chapter, and I decided that I wanted to do something really unique, and it's probably kind of crazy, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, what I'm getting ready to start doing right now, and I've actually already begun, is, do, is building the Flesh Terrace chapter, and I'm going to do the remaining four companies. So what I've decided to do in building the chapter is I'm going to do this two ways, because here we play a lot of campaigns, and we actually have one big tyranny campaign coming up where we're going to have the Flesh Terrors um, defending a planet against a Tyranid invasion. And what I'm going to do with this is I wanted to, um, I wanted to go out and, and build the entire remaining four companies. Now what's going to be unique about this particular build is every single individual model in the Army will have a name, and their names will be um, illustrated on their bases. In addition to that, I'm also going to do the entire battle fleet for the Flesh Terrace chapter, starting with the Rictus, their battle barge. And so the way that we're going to be doing this campaign is it's going to start in space, and uh, the Flesh Terrors are going to be fending off a Tyranid invasion from space. And then they we're going to drop spores and drop pods and storm ravens and everything to the surface of the planet, and the battle is going to continue there. So what I want to do is um, right now I want to introduce to you guys the, 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 the masters of the chapter that I currently have. Now these guys aren't finished. They're just base colored, so they're just base coated right now. Um, I have started laying down some color, but I have a lot of detailing to do, and I hope that these come out um, better. But this first one is Gabriel Seth, and I decided to paint the chapter master in the gold armor, but I wanted him to have a rustic look. So the gold armor has been washed with browns and reds to give him that gory feel. But I still wanted him to be a little regal. Um, so, you know, I felt like the Games Workshop iteration of this model, um, painting him in the, cha in the, in the red, or well, the red gore, um, just made him look too plain. It made him look too much like a standard Marine. He didn't feel like a chapter master to me. Um, I hope that this is showing up okay. Let me see if I can try and zoom in here so I can um, make things a little clearer. But anyway, um, so anyway, this is Gabriel Seth, and I use cork to to design the base. Um, and I put fly on top of it. And of course, his name is on the base um, also. So this is my chapter master, Gabriel Seth, and I have a lot of work to do, but I do have the color down. I have a lot of highlighting. And I can see now that I'm going to have to get a better camera to show you guys the details that I want you to see uh, what, what I'm trying to do with this particular miniature. So anyway, um, the next one is my first company captain, and this is Leonidas. You guys know him. Right now he's just base coated in the red. I'm sure many of you guys have seen this miniature from the Space Hulk. Um, so he's going to be my first company captain. And my second company captain is Maximus. Maximus is going to be my master of the Skyfall. He's going to count as Dante. Um, also painted in the gold, uh, and I'm just about finished with him. I need to do some highlights on his armor. Uh, this was a pretty tough conversion to do, actually, because it came from a, I've forgotten now, but several models um, from um, the Chaos Range and the Black Templars, um, and from the Sanguinary Guard box. Um, and there are a few Death Company parts that I put on here, too. But this is my second company captain. This is Maximus. 
my third company captain is Thaddeus. Um, Thaddeus is going to be my siege specialist. And I think what I'm going to do with his company is I'm going to have his company set up to um, to be like line breakers. So his company is going to have um, more heavy support, probably more devastators, um, stern guard supporting. Um, another thing that I've decided to do too with the um, with each company because the flesh terrors don't really have a tenth company, and many of the other companies are already gone um, from the Black Rage. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to integrate my scouts into each company. Um, so uh, this is Castigen. He's the fourth company captain. Uh, he has a, a power fist and a storm shield. Um, what I've decided to do with this particular um, captain, um, well, with all of them really, and I still need to put a backpack on him and finish detailing his armor and adding more details, but what I've decided to do with these guys is I wanted all of the captains, the four captains, to all have, um, to all have different personalities. And so I modeled them in such a way that they all of them will function differently on the battlefield. They all have different personalities and their their individual companies are going to depict that personality that they have. Like for example, Leonidas's company, the first company, is gonna have uh more Terminators. Actually pretty much all the Terminators is gonna be um in his company. Uh it's gonna be rare that you see him but when you do see him, um, it, it's because it's um, it's he has to be there. Um, I'm gonna use him for mostly for um, changing the tide of the battle. Like if if we're playing Tyranids and we're and we have an endless swarm, it will be good to have him on the front line. It'll also be good to have him going after things like. Um, Tyrannifexes and Trigons and that kind of thing, um, especially with this campaign that we have coming up. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And then Maximus, who's going to count as Dante, um, is is going to be my my guy that is going to be um, my planet fall expert. And in, um, in his company, he's going to make use of the most Storm Ravens. His entire company is going to be a Deep Strike uh, company. He's going to have lots of Sanguinary Guard, lots of Assault Marines. Um, what's going to be unique about his Assault Marines is that they're either going to be coming down in a Storm Raven or Drop Pods, um, or they're going to be making use of Jump Packs. Uh, they're not going to be in any rhinos. They're not going to be riding around on the table, um, riding around on the battlefield in land raiders and rhinos. Um, his guys are going to be all jump infantry. Um, once they come down, that's going to be it. So I'm trying to give each company some um, some personality. Thaddeus's guys, Thaddeus's company is going to be a mechanized company. Um, as a matter of fact, I have his land raider right here. I'll move aside so you guys can see. This is that. This is land raider right here, uh, and it is just about done. This land raider is. Um, I still need to paint the inside and do some detailing, but this is Thaddeus's land raider. Um, specifically assigned to him and his guys and he's going to have a unit of Vanguard veterans the only remaining veterans in his company they're going to be with him um, they're going to be pretty unique too uh, what, what, how I'm going to field them um, so anyway so this is going to be uh, Captain Thaddeus and his Land Raider, and over here, 
I'm done. I've done something really unique with Castigen. I'm actually. Um, I hadn't really settled on how I'm going to play him just yet, but what I do know uh, about him right now in terms of his personality, he is geared up for close combat. Um, what I want, what I think I'm going to do with him is um, field him in a all drop pod assault army. Um, his company will make use of drop pods. The only downside to this would be that uh, once they are once they are down on the board, um, they're pretty much going to be walking everywhere, and I'm not so sure how comfortable I am with that. So his company will have to be set up in such a way that whenever they land, they need to land near objectives, they need to land um, near targets, and they need to be able to hit the targets and hit them hard. So. Uh, Personality-wise, as you can see, I put the red X on his shield. He is going to be, uh, he's already getting close to, to the Black Rage. So he's going to be um, Carnivon will be keeping an eye on him, let's just say that. And Carnivon is the, is the chief chaplain, the chief recluse yard, which I have not modeled yet. I have taken the liberty, as you can see, I have one, two, three Storm Ravens. Um, I actually have nine drop pods, but only one is based and the others aren't even put together. This is my Death Company Land Raider. This is a Crusader. And this Crusader is going to be in Castigen's fourth company. He's going to have the most Death Company. Um, this is the reason for having the X on the shield. Uh, his guys are closest to to falling. So I'm going to introduce to you guys next. I want to introduce to you guys next my death company. Um, these guys are, will be in Cassigen's company. Now my death company these so far are completed and as you can see I do have the names on the bases here these guys are now completed and I'm actually I feel comfortable about fielding these guys uh, so these are my deaf company guys that I've actually finished this is Q this is Denethor Spirio, this is Rexor. He used to be the captain of the fourth company until he fell to Death Company. Um, he has bionics, as you can see. I replaced his arm um, with a bionic arm. He's now in Death Company, and this is set. So these are my five Death Company guys, and this is their Land Raider. Um, these guys here are are the first of my guys that that I completed, um, and um, I also have their Chaplain. Um, that's also finished. Um, yep. This is Kron. So this is the chaplain that rolls with this company. Um, he joins them after landing. Um, he he is a jump pack chaplain. Um, he just sticks close to the land raider and uses it as shielding until until the guys come out and then he jumps into this company into this jumps into the squad to move to move around with them and right now I'm going to be putting Cassigen in this squad um, 
until I iron out more details. But if you guys have any ideas, um, please shoot them my way. I don't want to make this too long. I'm already at 15 minutes, and I hadn't even covered everything. Um, the last piece that I'm going to show you for right now, um, as I get this thing going, I'm going to be finishing up painting my captains first. And so uh, I'll continue the blog then with each individual captain so I can kind of showcase them as they get finished and as their, their individual companies get fleshed out. I'm even going to make the dev company in each chapter, in each company, I'm going to make the dev company in each company unique so that when you guys see them, you'll be able to tell this dev company is associated with fourth company or with second company or with third company. And I'm going to do the same thing with the scouts. Like all of the scouts are going to be unique. Like for example, in, in Thaddeus's third company, He's going to utilize mostly scouts with sniper rifles, um, whereas Maximus's scouts would be uh, close combat scouts with close combat weapons and assault assault weapons. So they're going to all be unique. There's one sergeant that I wanted to introduce, one assault squad that I wanted to introduce, and this assault squad is going to be in my second company. Uh, it is a really unique assault squad. Um, well, at least the sergeant is unique. His name is Moloch, and this sergeant, yes, has no shirt on. This is a crazy guy. He is definitely close to death company. Uh, I gave him two uh, power weapons and his sergeant markings. And I have to apologize, guys. This is my... Um, I'm actually using my iPhone, and it is not cooperating with me right now. But this is Moloch, um, and this is Bows, who is, as you can see, the second marking. He is, he is basically um, the second person in charge. Um, he's like a corporal uh, in this in this squad. If something happens to Moloch then Bows takes over uh, leadership. Okay, this is Vandis. This is Retinatus. This is Damien. Introduce you to all of the guys. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh this is Sadell. Put him over here. And this is a 10 man squad. Okay. This is Yonatus. And this is Martellus. So, this is the, the first assault squad um, that I have nearly finished. It is not completed yet. There are two other guys that I'm missing uh, for this climax and blade. Very simple. So these guys are just about done. Um, I still have some highlighting to do with their armor, but they're nearly done. So the army is slowly, slowly being fleshed out, but. Pretty soon I'm going to be able to lay out each individual company and each company is going to have a corresponding personality based on the captain that's leading that company. So anyway, um, I'm at 19 minutes now. Uh, it's starting to go too long. Next time I'll, be, I'll start with first company and I'll start um, fleshing out first company. And as I get them painted, you guys can just go along the journey. I also have a challenge for everyone, too. This is going to be really cool um, because we really love campaigns here. We love the story. We love, um, I like fielding an army. This, what I'm showing you guys right now is kind of disjointed. It's um, not fluffy yet, but I like fielding an army that follows a story. This particular um, chapter that I'm working on is, is for a campaign that we're getting ready to start. For those of you that play Chaos, if you're interested in campaigns, 
I have a campaign idea for you guys. Please try it out in your clubs. Um, a campaign start a campaign for Chaos Demons or Chaos Space Marines, and you can pretty much be anybody playing. But uh, if you are from any of the other races other than Chaos, this campaign idea is called the Valley of Corn. So you will be assaulting a planet, a demon planet that belongs to Corn. Um, it is it is in in every way, shape, and form. A demon planet. When you come down on this planet, there's some special rules that you guys can utilize in your games. At the beginning of every turn, you roll a d6 for both sides. On a roll of a one, every one on both sides are subject to blood frenzy. That means that everyone has to move as fast as they can and they have to assault the nearest enemy. On a roll of a six, Everyone, um, fire and brimstone come, rains down from the skies. So everyone is on both sides, count as being pinned. On a two through five, you play as normal. So this will be uh, an element that you can add to your games that will make your games really unique. Um, that would be for, like, every mission that you play on this planet. So um, try it out. Tell me what you think. Give me your ideas. Peace.